Hello everybody, I am El Hagrid's Rule, and this is Accelerator. That is right, I am taking a look at a game called Accelerator. Now the reason I'm making this video uh, is because, well one, we haven't done a checkout video in quite some time, and I still have some things in the backlog of things that I need to do on the checkout series, but... Um, I just, I, you know, sometimes I browse new grounds, sometimes I browse uh, all the Flash sites, really, to see if there are any, uh, good games. You know, a lot of games that end up going indie start off as a Flash game, uh, as well, and as well as a lot of Flash, uh, developers end up being, uh, indie game developers. So, anyway, I always like looking at stuff like that, and I found a little game here that I think is really fun, and also very pretty. Um, it's called Accelerator. It's on Newgrounds right now. I, I'm, I'm not sure if that's uh, the only place, uh, that the game is. Um, it might be, it might be in other locations. But, anyway, let's just jump into the game, because honestly, the only way to describe it is through gameplay footage. So let's go ahead and have some gameplay footage. So, uh, as you can see right now, we could go into the options menu, we could start. So let's, let's go take a look at the options menu real quick. I have, uh, the quality on the highest quality. We could go fastest, uh, I'm gonna go all the way to fantastic, because I'm a badass. Um, mouse mode standard, I actually don't know what follow cursor does, that's kind of interesting. Invert Y axis, definitely don't want that. I kind of want to bump up the sensitivity a bit, and I'll show you why in a little bit, but I think that's fine just keeping it at 1, because I'm kind of used to it. I did not actually realize Q and E is roll, that's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, that, that's, that's the options menu. I mean, really, it's kind of a more full-featured options menu than you would possibly expect out of a traditional Flash game that you'd find, uh, on Newgrounds, so that's pretty cool. Although, I guess, if you're looking for games on Newgrounds and, uh, you're, you're gonna be playing some Flash games here, I don't think you care so much about the options menu. So anyway, let's go ahead and start and see what it's like. So now we have the get ready screen, three, two, one, go. And as you can see, uh, the middle of my screen is a little circular cursor. And uh, that is basically where our character kind of moves in the world. We're sort of like a, um, on a rail, you know, uh, well, not really on a rail, uh, like Star Fox, uh, but you, you kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to say here. Uh, you're just always constantly moving forward, similar to sort of a, an infinite runner, except, uh, this obviously can't necessarily be classified as an infinite runner. Although a lot of the gameplay concepts do sort of stem from one of those, and in case you don't know what I mean by an infinite runner, I'm talking about, uh, Cannabalt, which, again, started on Newgrounds, actually. Um... Cannibal, Temple Run, all those kinds of things. So, uh, the thing about Accelerator, as you might expect, uh, due to the title, we accelerate over time. And, uh, every time you see the, uh, the screen have that little bit of a Gaussian blur, and, uh, and you see a little bit of an overexposure of the, uh, of the lighting effects, uh, you'll see that we actually speed up the next, uh, 100 interval. So, each 100 interval is considered the next speed cap and uh, basically you start off at a hundred speed uh, which is what we started off at initially and uh, you slowly gain up and go up in uh, intervals of a hundred and you can start at all of those intervals as soon as you unlock them similar to sort of like a, a super hexagon like mechanic uh, where you have to get past a certain point in order to unlock starting at that point uh, later on so uh, actually I actually want to liken this game a lot to Super Hexagon, despite the fact that it's almost nothing like it, uh, so perhaps that's a bad comparison, but uh, I think I think it kind of fits here. It's it's about Twitch-based- oh god, I hate these rooms! These are the worst. Okay, we got it though. Um, I, I, I Yeah, the Super Hexagon, I, I think we're kind of in that scope of, this is a genre that doesn't really- oh, existed before. We have screwed up. We have smashed into a wall, and that's obviously how you lose. We got up to 743 units per second. I have no idea what the measurement is. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, uh, we showed up on the leaderboards. We're at 1217, so pretty poor. Uh, actually, let's let's look up at the scores. I want to see the highest score. No, let's go to the number one. Epic Red Beard. We got up to 1197. 1197, that's not that high. I could get up to 1197. But anyway, as you can tell... Some of the things that you could change here in the starting screen is, one, your name, which is pretty cool. Uh, because obviously I'm Alpaca Patrol, that's how I roll. 
you can change the game mode, which we'll get into in a little bit, and you can change your starting speed. So, uh, I unlocked, actually, a lot of other starting speeds. Actually, I want to see what the highest cap for starting speed, yeah. Starting speed, 1400 is the highest. Uh, and they each actually have separate leaderboards. So, each of these uh, starting speeds have different leaderboards uh, to go on, which is which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I actually like that a lot. So the highest speed we have unlocked is a thousand. So let's go ahead and jump into a thousand because we started at seven hundred. So, uh, a thousand is, is actually pretty gosh darn fast. It's a little bit difficult to get a hang of. Oh dear lord. Oh this is so intense. Uh, and you can see it's a really oh god visually exciting game when you're moving at a very high velocity. You know uh, all of the line contrast that's used in this game. Uh, between uh, curved lines and straight lines, which is actually the very basis of this game. It's all about line contrast, as you can see with the circles. Actually gives you that idea of, uh, of speed, which is a really interesting and, oh, smart way to show speed. Because, really, you could consider the art style in this game to be minimalistic. In that there's not really much going on. Even the even the textures on the blocks and walls and stuff are just uh, checkered red and darker red. Oh dear lord. Um, so we're trying to get up to at least 1100, and then we'll have unlocked the next point on easy mode. We're actually getting pretty lucky right now. Now, as you can tell, it is randomly generated. The uh, oh oh man, we got through. No, oh I hate that one. The blue rooms. Blue Room's the worst. Look at that, 1092! We were so close. Let's do one more time uh, in this easy mode to uh, get an idea. And then we'll jump into a different uh, different difficulty setting. But uh, anyway, like I was saying, uh, yeah, whoa, ah, man, those blue rooms, man. They are tough. Uh, so we can go into medium mode, which I guess I've unlocked a thousand on that as well. Um, and hard mode. Let's You know what? Let's actually go into hard mode and let's go on to the 100 score or the 100 speed start, because uh, hard mode actually plays out a bit differently than easy mode. So, in easy mode, you've been moving through the world uh, in pretty much a linear path. As you can see right now, almost immediately in hard mode, you're moving not in a linear path, you actually have branching paths all the time. Oh, that's actually what I was talking about, because I totally forgot before. Um, the thing that I forgot to, to mention before was that, uh, yes, the world, or not world, but I guess your track is sort of uh, procedurally generated, like a lot of those Infinite Runner games, which is why I liken this to an Infinite Runner, although it doesn't play out exactly like an Infinite Runner at all, really, I mean, considering even just the control scheme, uh, really, you're, oh, I should not have gone for the blue room, although it, it worked out, it's just fine, no big deal. Um, so yeah, I am controlling with the mouse. It is important to note that I can control with the mouse and keyboard, or the, uh, just the keyboard, rather, uh, if I so chose. Oh god, that's a tough one. Um, yeah, I, I could use the keyboard if I so choose, uh, chose, which I did initially, and, uh, I don't know if it was partly due to my awful keyboard, but, uh, I did not like the keyboard controls. I think this game is really designed to, to be used for the mouse. Um, and as you can see, that was one of those rooms where I kind of wish I had better sensitivity on my mouse. Uh, which is good that they give you the option in the options menu. Um, so the game is really, oh god. Uh, the game is really minimalistic, it's really simplistic. I mean, in all honesty, I've kind of shown you what the game is like. You're not going to have many things that are terribly different from what you're seeing here right now. Uh, it's all basically just this. But I think that's fine, honestly. Um, it's not necessarily about the com uh, complexity or the difference, it's really about getting a high score, and this is really a high score type of game, you know? It's, it's, not, it's not meant to blow your world uh, due to the really complex narrative. Who knows, maybe this is talking about uh, breast cancer. I have no idea, I can't tell. All I know is that this is a oh, high score game! Oh dear lord, that was close. Um, this is a, this is a high score game, and you know, I'm totally comfortable with games that understand that they're video games. Uh, a lot of games get kind of caught up in the whole, whoa, oh no, we hit the top. We got pretty far though that time. Um, yeah, a lot of games get caught up in, in the idea that, uh, they, that games have to be something more than a game. I don't think that's necessarily true. Let's start at 700 here. Um, I can't actually, to be honest with you, decipher the difference between medium and hard, because uh, medium also has those branching paths. That, uh, that hard mode does? Oh, dear lord. Um, I think maybe it doesn't have the wrap around the corner 
thingamabobbers. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the path is on uh, on this. Um, I do want to say the game is very visually interesting. You know, I, I mentioned that it is uh, minimalistic in art style, which it is, but I think it is actually very visually interesting. It's kind of like super trippy, which I like. I, I can appreciate that. Um, it is also in a 3D environment as well, uh, despite the fact that that's sort of. Um, I think it's designed to, uh, to to sort of trip you out and and make you not believe that you're in a three-dimensional environment, but you are. Uh, so that's that's kind of interesting uh, as well. Oh dear lord. Um, yeah, I, I, I basically I just wanted to show off this game because I think I don't think anybody's really talking about it, and I think they should because I think it's pretty cool. I, I like it a lot. I, I've already played uh, probably at least an hour into this game. Uh, and perhaps I'm more inclined towards this type of thing. I really do like high score type games. Uh, I like infinite runners also for that matter. Um, so, you know, really learning all the, the mechanics, learning all the different um, puzzles that, or not puzzles, uh, but obstacles that you can get through and, and basically how to solve them, or not really solve them again. Uh, it's sort of, again, it, it, that's why I want to mention it, it, it is similar in a way to Super Hexagon because, ah, damn. See, I actually screwed that up there, but. Um, it is similar in a way to Super Hexagon in that, uh, wow, we have we had a thousand unlocked on medium too. All right, let's go. Um, yeah, it, it is similar in a way to Super Hexagon in that uh, the obstacles are more or less the same, right? I mean, you're you're not really going to be going through. Oh dear. You know what? Let's try raising the sensitivity. But um, yeah, you, you're going to more or less be going through the same obstacles every time. Let's go on the highest sensitivity and see how intense that is. Uh, unfortunately, you can't hold the button. Uh, okay, you know what? <laughs> Six is a little bit high. Let's let's go down. Let's go down to five because that's probably pretty high, and let's see what this follow cursor thing is. Oh, and I also want to try out the roll or the pitch and roll or whatever because I never really messed with that. That sounds kind of interesting. Oh, okay, all right. So follow cursor. Okay, definitely don't like follow cursor. Uh, that's interesting, but I I don't like it. Uh, very much, and I also want to try out the roll and pitch thing because I actually haven't tried that. Oh, interesting. Okay, I, I don't really. Whoa! Okay, sensitivity a bit high. A bit high. Uh, I did make it five times as sensitive. Perhaps that wasn't the best idea. Let's go down to two. Let's see if two is good. I think two would be pretty good. I, I don't know what the rolling is for, to be honest with you. I don't think that that would really help me out but then again I'm not particularly good at this game so you know that is certainly a factor as well uh, you know I suppose it could help in those rooms which would be good yeah I'm liking the sensitivity more oh, 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 oh. oh just barely just barely you see why I don't like those blue rooms man they're tough but like I was saying so similar to super hexagon you do you do get to get to know the obstacles. You get to you kind of get a, a um, almost muscle memory uh, into how you should deal with them, especially when you're going at these really high velocities. I think the game does a very good job of uh, showing you how fast you're going visually. Uh, I was a little bit put off by how slow you go at the very beginning, but I think the idea is for the juxtaposition between how fast you go and how quickly you start going that fast. Uh, because as you can see, when you start at 1,000, you're going super fast. The obstacles are coming uh, super duper fast. So, you know, you, you, it, it, it is it is important to... I, I, don't think I'm deal, I don't think I'm dealing with this, this uh, sensitivity very well. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I, I think there's really not much else that I can talk about when it comes to this game. It's pretty much self-explanatory when you see the gameplay, I think. I think you know by this point whether or not you would like playing this game. I do a lot. I think it's really cool. I, I, I'm very much enjoying myself with this game. Like I said, I've, I've played it for uh, probably about an hour or so now. Uh, I would like to see more obstacles if there was a, fall, uh, a fully fledged uh, version of the game. Uh, part of the thing that Super Hexagon does uh, with its difficulty settings is that the obstacles actually change uh, in each difficulty setting. Oh dear lord. Oh god. Okay, we made it through. That's good. Oh, just barely. Just barely. But, um, yeah, the, the obstacles do change uh, with with each difficulty, which I think is a pretty cool mechanic. Uh, but, again, you know, this is a Flash game right now. You know, perhaps eventually 
it'll be uh, on Steam or standalone or something. Uh, all the links are going to be down in the description, by the way, uh, of this video to the... Well, hopefully the developer's page. Uh, honestly, I haven't, I wasn't able to really find out much about the developer uh, from the Newgrounds page, but uh, I'll find out more links and uh, put them down below. I will obviously put the Newgrounds links so that you can play the game for free. It is free online for you to play right now. Uh, and I would again suggest that you do so if this looks cool to you. I mean, obviously, I think you can tell whether or not this looks cool to you, basically. Uh, I think you can kind of kind of tell right off the bat whether or not this is going to be right up your alley. For me, it is, and uh, and I like it a lot. Uh, now, if we can talk about little gripes with the game right now, uh, at the aforementioned lack of obstacles, you kind of you kind of learn all of the obstacles. Uh, that was pretty crazy, by the way. Um, you kind of learn all of the obstacles uh, pretty pretty quickly. I mean, really, in your first or second run, you you've seen pretty much every obstacle that's there. Now, obviously, it has to do with the permutations of those obstacles, and in fact, the permutations are probably good enough uh, that I don't, I'm not yearning for really that many more obstacles, but, you know, it would be interesting to see more. Uh, th this does feel a lot like uh, uh, the Death Star run through the, uh, through the Death Star Trench, or, um, or even just Star Fox when you go to that last level on Venom. And you have to fly through all those things, which I guess is probably a reference to the Death Star Trench as well, so... Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, oddly, I actually don't like those sections in video games, except for, like, in Star Fox. But, uh, I don't know. I, I do very much like this game. I, I, think it's, I think it's a lot of fun. It's got a pretty good skill ceiling as well. Uh, I, I feel like it's one of those games that's easy to learn, hard to master. I would love to see people getting high scores in this game and seeing how quickly it goes. Um, and stuff like that. Uh, again, uh, let's get back to the minor gripes with the game. I don't think that the... I think the sound design is good. I think the lack of music is a little bit off-putting. Uh, not necessarily off-putting, but I, I am yearning a bit for music that isn't just necessarily ambiance. Now, I understand what they're going for here. They're, they're going for really just, just sounds... Really... I think the whole idea around this game is to make you feel like you're going fast. And part of that is the line contrast. Oh, God. And the other part of that is indeed the sound, where, you know, you're zooming past all these things and it's making all these cool sound effects. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, this is intense. Oh, like the circus fire. Oh, I don't like that. No. Oh, I made it. I made it. Oh, damn. Still only got it to 1066, man. That's tough. That is tough. Um... Anyway, hey, look, I got 250 or 205 on the leaderboard. That's pretty cool. Out of many thousands. Uh, so that's cool. Anyway, yeah, that, that's Accelerator. I, 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 part of the reason that Super Hexagon was really, really great uh, as a game uh, was because the soundtrack was just so incredible. Uh, the music in Super Hexagon was great. Now, like I said, I think the developers didn't go for music purposely, because I think every part of this game is supposed to immerse you into the speed, and uh, I totally understand that. Although, I will say that I was yearning a bit for music, uh, so that that's a thing. Now, one thing that I want to mention is, if this game ever does have standalone, or in fact, if it does already have standalone, and you can go to the developer's website, which I will look up right after I finish making this video, um, again, all the links will be down in the description. Uh, if if uh, if this game does have standalone, I would love to play it on the Oculus Rift, cause holy crap, flying into a wall at the speeds that you fly into a wall in this game, even just going through a tunnel like that, on the Oculus Rift, that would be insane. That would be a great goddamn time, and who knows? Maybe they already have Oculus Rift support. In fact, I don't actually know what this game is coded in. Uh, the lighting effects do sort of remind me of Unity, so it might be Unity, although I've had trouble kind of figuring out, uh, out, of, out of all the engines, Unity is one of the most diverse, I think, in, um, in art style. I think it's very difficult to tell a Unity game apart from, say, a Game Maker game, or even a UDK game, which I think a UDK game is very easy to tell, uh, what games are made in the Unreal Engine. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this might be in Unity. If it is in Unity, then I think it has native Oculus Rift support. I'm pretty certain of that. Um, 
And also, I don't know the, 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 if, it, if it is also on Unity, then it would also have native Xbox controller support, which would be interesting for this game. I don't know if you would prefer to go for the mouse or the Xbox controller. I could see it both ways, honestly. I, I haven't tried it with the Xbox controller, obviously. But uh, I, I could see that working just fine uh, with this gameplay. Um, but anyway, that's going to be the end of this checkout video on Accelerator. Uh, really, we're longer than we probably should have been on this video at 20 minutes. I think it's a fun time. You can go check it out at Newgrounds.com. Uh, the link will be down in the description to go play the game. Also, whatever necessary links you want to look for uh, will be down there as well. Um, and I, I do highly suggest you play this game, especially if it looks cool to you. It's a fun time. I'm, I'm very much enjoying myself. I think it's a, it's a very excellent Flash game as well. Uh, a lot of times, you know, there's some, there's some real, real bad stuff in the Flash game world. Uh, but this is, I think, a particularly standout game. Um, because it has, I think, every aspect that you're kind of looking for with, um, gameplay, uh, mechanical soundness, uh, really the controls are fantastic, I, it controls just as well as you can really hope for. I never feel like I'm getting cheated out of a, out of a run, necessarily, it, it, it's all skill based, so uh, really if I mess up, I feel like I messed up. If I, if I lose, it's my own fault and it's not the game's fault, which is important uh, as well. Uh, the minimalistic art design is, is very pretty, the sound design is fantastic. Uh, though lacking in music, but, you know, that may not be... <laughs> that may not be really a downside for a lot of people, and even the game developer. So, uh, you know, that's that's a thing. It is, it is very simplistic. Even the art style is very minimalistic. Um, it's not gonna blow your world. It's not a complex game. It's not a telltale game. Uh, the narrative isn't gonna change your mind. But, uh, it's very fun. And uh, I enjoy myself a lot on Accelerator, so hopefully you will too. Uh, the links will be down in the description again, like I've mentioned like a hundred times. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was a good time. Uh, th this is a checkout video, by the way. Uh, we have this series somewhat infrequently, but uh, I hope to make it more frequent soon. Uh, because I have a lot of games that I want to cover, and uh, I figured I saw this game. I wanted to cover it, show it to you guys, because uh, it's pretty fun. So, hopefully you go check it out. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you had a good time. Uh, sorry that the mouse cursor is on the screen, I guess I left it on there. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools. Sorry, the outro took a while to load there. Bye.